What Adam was just saying that prey and predators actually, obviously they don't see the same way that we do and we forget when we're looking around, we see a green bush, we see the blue sky and that's not how they see. So they see in black and white yeah. and greys. And we were having a look at some photos and it's, it's really interesting because you see that actually patterns that to us are really obvious and stand out for the predators and for the prey, it actually makes it really hard. Yeah. So you were saying about the leopards and the tree. Yeah, if you, if you ever, you know, stand under a tree on a sunny day and you look up through it, there's all these little small white spots where the sun is just coming through in little places, like little, you know, white circles. And a leopard's coat really mimics that very, very mm. well in black and white. Like the dappling of the sun and the yeah, leaves. Yeah, like if you go on, you know, Google or whatever and look up a picture of a a black and white picture of a leopard mm. in a tree you can really really see how effective that camouflage is from the point of view of a you know prey animal yeah and the same with you know for us looking at a zebra it's just this like they weird psychedelic out. animal yeah. in the middle of you all know this all of this green and it's really obvious to us but obviously if a lion's going after it or a leopard they're seeing everything in black and white so it's yeah. not as noticeable to them as it is to us and I think that's the thing we quite often we think in human all the time yeah. and, and if you really want to understand them you've got to think as an animal and and know their biology and how they work yeah and you know the senses they'll have great smell you know they're different to us yeah. in so many ways so um it's good to do your research i think before as well or have someone like adam with you if you're lucky <laughs> enough <laughs> Full of compliments for you. <laughs>